How's it guys? Welcome back to another episode of Morgs Brew You here in my farm lab. We're gonna do this with a lot less emphasis on the edit and a lot more emphasis on the information. And today's information is going to be about irrigation. Not just any irrigation, I'm setting up a drip line system. But I'm not going to be installing it today. I do have a little bit of something I am going to do in the lab today. I'm going to replace one of the tines on my broad fork that I recently fabricated. Turns out I cut it too thin. But first off, if you haven't already seen any of my content, welcome to my channel. I am Morgs Brew. I'm going to be dedicating the next few episodes on this channel to our garden that we're busy developing. And that is where the strip line irrigation is going to be going. I may put the link up there. If it's not there yet, it means we haven't installed it. If it's there, it means we have installed it. However, if it isn't there, it may just mean that I forgot to come back from the future into the past to put my tag up on the top of it. And uh, as I talk to you guys, I'm checking out all these little wasps. These guys are terrible things out there. I've got this little allergy to them. I swell up properly. So I always worry about, you know, them flying around my neck over here. But we run into them at least once a week in the, in the banana fields in the summer. Anyways, that's just digressing from where I'm going. I'm trying to tell you guys about this irrigation system that I'm setting up. Um, I got it down here. So, oh, bah, these are the pipes. Put it over here. Why are we setting up an irrigation system? Well, well, the primary reason, I suppose, for me is time and efficiency. Efficiency both in time management and in water efficiency, water use efficiency. Farm work is considered one of the lowest paid jobs, so let's just work at minimum, minimum human cost per hour is 20 rand. And if you're going to water for an hour twice a day, you're going to be using two hours of your time strictly on watering. Those two hours equals 40 rand a day. Now, this is probably like three bucks or something in the States. I don't know. For you guys, that's crazy cheap. But let's just roll with this calculation for a second here. You, 40 rand a day, 10 days, 400 rand, 30 days, you're looking at 1,200 rand. Every three months, it's 3,600 rand. Now, this whole setup by the filter cost me less than 3,600 rand. So what I'm trying to say is that that time saved on watering pays itself off in three months. If you come and look at my garden from the top, and I will zoom out of here to the next section where you can check it from the top. We've got a drone image of our garden, and I've got this into four blocks. And you can see here quickly, four blocks. Block, 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 block. A storage water, both 5,000 liters of water. They're plumbed up in series over here, so they're both going to come into it. We're going to put our filter, our disc filter in line over here, which is going to run down here into our garden. And then it runs along here, this 40 mil comes down into the middle. But has to allow lemongrass and our moringas. Um, and then basically splits the garden down here, and we've got two taps on this system. But back to the filter. So this filter, this is a basic disc filter. Um, water flows in one way, comes up around here and has to go through this disc system before it comes out the other side of the filter over here. And what I want to show you is on this filter, I don't know if we're going to get great focus, but you can see this ribbing, so teeth on these things. When we tighten this up, and it be closes up all together, what you end up with is a 130 micron filtration through this disc. So that's going to hopefully stop any of our emitters from clogging up. Then our water comes down here. We're going to get to our first 40 mil 32 reducing T. We're going to come out of here on that reducing T into our 32 mil. Our 32 mil is then going to run our submain up and down, so that way and this way along these beds. On that submain, we're going to manage it through these ball valves so the setup of six beds across this is going to be managed through the single ball valve so they said it would be easy you just drill a little eight mil hole and you stick this little paper key through one of those holes in there and then you tighten up this nut over here you tighten up the nut so that it comes up against ends up against the plastic closing it off Problem with the system that I'm finding is that 
you can't just push this little pepper key through one of these through one of these holes over here because ah! so I've never owned one of these things but I saw a sweet deal on one the other day and I couldn't resist <laughs> So that's it. Looks like it's it. It's in. Anyways, it looks like I needed a 10 mil bit on the end of my drill. Get in there. So that's basically it. I'm going to put two drip lines onto each bed running the length of the beds which are 10 meters. Both. Now this drip line I haven't opened yet. Hang on a second here. Let's pull this guy out. Yep. Okay. See if we can brighten it up. There we go. So that's what our drip lines are like. And you can see underneath there, there's sort of like a square underneath that hole. Hey, tuck, man. Oh, block some. I want light. So there's a bit of a square underneath that hole. And inside that, you can see that little uh, molded inline emitter. And there's actually a molded inline little filter inside there to help minimize any other blockages we might get thanks agriplus you guys are legends for supplying this so that's the basic setup each block is going to be controlled by a single valve six beds per block and um that's what we're going to do there but i've got to fix my broad fork give you guys a any of you novice welders out there like me a little tip a secret to welding to beating the welding demons and the most important thing is camouflaging yourself so you can see I'm wearing green to camouflage the metal and blue to blend in with the UV arc so make sure that your shirt is the same color as the metal you're working on and you're wearing a blue jacket just for that extra little bit of sand <laughs> Here's the basic tack. We've just got it, got it on both sides of here so that it doesn't warp. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and tack the other side a couple of times and then run a deep weld on to this to close it up.
anyways, guys, that's uh, about it for me in this right now. So let's go outside, have a look and see um, at where we're going to put this drip irrigation. And, um, and then that's going to be it. That's going to wrap up for us. And I'll finish off in the garden there with a little shot from the, from the distance. So come along, let's go. Yo! Man cave! The man cave! Welcome to the garden. Let's go check this out. And uh, basically, this is where we're going to be flipping out soon. We're going to be changing out these onions, turning these onions, drying them, recomposting these systems. This row cover here is over some lettuce, which is nearly done. This side over here, we got our peppers, which are producing our cabbages, which are coming along. Um, nearly done. We're going to pull these out and make some sauerkraut. Our spinach, we've just taken a massive yield off of these. And on this side here, we're going to put in, we've got sunflowers, corns and beans coming in. Our onions are just about done this side too, so they'll be coming out soon. And over here, we've got some more spinach and more cabbage planted up over here. Um, yeah, so this is the garden. These are our four plots and you're going to see us up here now, now. <laughs> Okay guys, and that's it. That's going to be a wrap for us for today. This is how we have been watering. We use two of these 10 liter watering cans for each of our 10 liter beds. Um, it's just been a tedious job, you know, coming out here twice a day, putting all that water out. So we finally made the investment and we've gone ahead and bought this trip line. We're going to install it in the coming weeks. And like I said, we're going to start flipping out these beds around me here. Uh, we'll show you, we'll bring you along for the installation process, the harvest of this garden, and that's going to start up the season. Um, it's going to be our next season, our summer season, and our next season here on YouTube. So I'm quite excited for this new season, for this new chapter in the garden with our drip line irrigation. And yeah, um, that's about it for today, guys. And thanks. See you guys next week, Friday, for another brew.